rhyme. Charter man, charter man, charter man, rhyme. Three comics, toys are hella sick, hella wacky nicks. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. Charter man, subscribe. Never ending story. Oh. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortness Prime here doing another Dawn of the Planet of the Apes figure review on the NECA Koba figure from the upcoming Dawn of the Planet of the Apes movie. If you can't find this figure at your local retail store, you can find it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Very standard clamshell packaging from NECA. I really like this look. It's just all clear over here. Looks like he's coming with the same kind of accessories that we saw with Caesar. It says action figure Koba ages 14 and up warning choking hazards at the bottom Dawn of the Planet of the Apes written up here And we get all three figures Caesar, Koba, and Maurice And I've already reviewed Caesar yet to review Maurice Collect them all or die Very very cool packaging I like this artistic look over here it Looks very nice Anyway I'm excited to see how cool this figure is Let's get to it and crack this thing open So here's Koba out of his packaging And this is great Now the first thing I wanted to look at Was the Caesar figure and compare him Just to see if NECA had just used similar parts and just did kind of a repaint kind of thing with this figure and they did not. Everything is a brand new sculpt on this guy. There has been no reused parts at all. Uh, even the hands are totally different. Everything is completely different. I thought maybe the legs could have been the same but nope, not even the legs. So I think that's pretty cool that they didn't take an easy route and just, you know, repaint the Caesar figure and make a Koba figure out of it. I thought that was really, really awesome and he comes with this great looking spear this thing is gigantic. Let's take a closer look at this thing and then we'll take a closer look at the hands and then the figure itself. So looking at Koba's spear all by itself, this thing is pretty huge. To compare it to Caesar's spear, you can see it's just a little bit shorter. So yeah, that's whatever that means. And then here's the tip of the spear, looking very cool, looking very realistic, like it's made out of stone or something. I think that's nice. They did a really good job on this, sculpted very well. And the paint applications and sculpting through the rest of this spear is just phenomenal. I'm actually more impressed with this one than the uh, the Caesar Spear. Now this has the same kind of issue with connecting. It does come in two parts and connecting it is a little frustrating. It doesn't meet all the way, but I guess it's as close as we're going to get. Still, look at all the paint detail and the sculpted detail right here on this section. That is just very impressive. I like this a lot, man. It really looks like it's made out of this huge piece of wood. Nice and pointy. And just like the Caesar figure, he comes with two sets of hands. One set of hands is kind of like an open palm kind of thing. And then these two are the spear wielding hands. And just like on the Caesar figure, we have some great paint applications on here. You can see the nails are painted nicely. You can see all the grooves and lines right there in the palm of the hand. We get that white war paint right there on the knuckles and on the back of the hands. I even really like how the fur came out on this. This is just too awesome. Look at that, man. This is like a little statue or something. They just did a fantastic job with these. Great job. Oh man, this head sculpt is fantastic. And no, he does not have white snot up his nose. That's just the black paint reflecting the light from these lamps that I have in here. And I think they did a fantastic job on this. I mean, look at all that paint on his face and everything. Now, one thing I did not mention in my Caesar review is that he does not have green eyes uh, on the Caesar figure. So he could see Caesar has brown eyes, which is actually incorrect. He should have green eyes. But the Koba figure does have the green eyes. Kind of reminds me of the lovely Charlita One's eyes. And a very accurate detail that NECA did here is they did give him the glaucoma or whatever is going on right here with his left eye uh, before he even gets the injection uh, of the formula he still has this messed up eye or the cataract whatever the hell is going on right there this monkey has just been through hell or he's a chimp not a monkey sorry for all you uh, chimpanzee enthusiasts out there that gave me crap for calling a chimp a monkey it's like calling a dolphin a porpoise come on man who really cares all right that's the end of my monkey rant but yeah this figure looks great unlike the Caesar figure they put a lot more paint applications and sculpted detail in the ears. I just think this looks really, really great, man. God, and the back is all messed up on this guy, too. Man, that just looks great, man. I really dig that. You know, the back of his elbows and everything. Got dog barking. Got some more of that mud. I think that's mud right there above his monkey butt. Yep. And then here's the back of his legs, and there's his calves and his feet. I'm loving these chimpanzee toes, looking nice. Brand new sculpted chimp toes on this. This looks fantastic. They did a really good job on this. I like the mud over here. Look at that. I think that's all mud. Of course, I haven't seen the movie yet. It hasn't been released in the U.S. at this moment. And I really like that white war paint on his chest. That looks awesome too. And I like his little beard. Beard looks pretty nice. Just want to get a profile shot of this figure. 
just looks too cool, man. Love all the paint applications and the sculpting on this, especially on his back. That just looks terrible. I mean, terrible in a good way. It's just beaten to hell. This is fantastic. So I really like the articulation on this guy. It's the same articulation that we saw in the Caesar figure. So the head can move up and it can move down. You get some neck pivot as well. That's pretty nice. And it rotates side to side. You get shoulders that move outward. They move forward. He bends at the elbow and rotates at the elbow. I had a QC issue with mine on the right elbow over here where this peg was kind of popping off. I do not have that issue with this figure right here. He has ball pegs right here on the wrist. So it doesn't matter which hand you place over here. You get a full range of movement at the wrist. He has a very nice diaphragm joint that allows side-to-side -side movement. You get some diaphragm pivot, crunches forward and crunches back. Great leg joints. You have, they're actually T-joints, so you kind of have to twist things around to get them to move outward and forward. And, of course, he has that upper thigh swivel. He has a single-jointed knee that doesn't meet 90 degrees, and he rotates at the knees, and he has ankles that move down, up, uh, move side-to-side, -side, and the beautiful ankle pivot. Plus, he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So, Koba stands just barely under six inches tall but the spear goes all the way up to over 10 inches tall Woo, and there's my lamp and here's Koba standing next to Caesar and Caesar stands just a little bit taller than Koba and here's Koba standing next to the Marvel Legends build a figure hit monkey and here's Koba standing next to the SH monster arts King Kong figure and you know I just realized this now this could be a makeshift buck figure you know I think they work in scale together and then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Sasquatch variant snowbird figure and then of course here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown spider-man so I gotta say overall, again, NECA is just hitting it out of the park. Great figure, I really like it a lot. Love the paint sculpt, the articulation is great. Just a very, very awesome figure. I totally recommend it. This guy is sick, man. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. Please check out ToyNewsEye.com for a full gallery of images and hit the like button if you liked the video. Leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe or else I'm just gonna be really, really pissed off. I won't even know. All right, I'll catch you guys later, peace. <laughs>